that she was innocent and not guilty. But Charlie says the jurors kept playing this tape and challenging his notion that an innocent woman could act this way. She wasn't grieving, spraying the city string and gnawing on that chewing gum. What the jury didn't see was this surveillance video of Darley. Police had secretly taped the gravesite for hours that day. There was weeping, praying, preaching. Father made this day of first day be a day of rejoicing. There was Darley's sister. The silly string was her idea. The dead boys had loved it. I got you some snaps for some silly string, okay? But this video was not okay. There were questions about its legality. And when the trial judge raised them, there was a heated argument in the courtroom. The two police officers pled the Fifth Amendment. Stephen Cooper is one of Darley's new attorneys. Wait a minute. You're saying that the police officers... Lead investigator in this case pled the Fifth Amendment and about refused... The, about the videotape that the police department had made? Correct. Why did he do that? He uh, was uh, persuaded that he was exposed to criminal prosecution for his acts. And the video was never entered into evidence. The police were not charged. So the sad Darley was never seen by the jury, and the bad Darley got big play. He wanted to be seven. I did the only thing I knew to, to do to honor him and give him those wishes because he wasn't here anymore. But how do you know what you're going to do when you lose two children? How do you know how you're going to act? And who's to say there's a rule book to grieving? Who's to say if you don't follow these guidelines that makes you a bad parent or that makes you a murderer?